Hello everyone, welcome to the Z-Stream. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to, uh, oh yeah, how to set up the Minecraft Coder Pack so you can make your own multiplayer mods, okay? Um, making single player mods is different from making multiplayer mods. It's the same kind of, it's the same coding and stuff, but you have to uh, work at it differently, I think. Um, anyways, if you don't know how to set up MCP, click one of the links right now and go to either the PC or the Mac version and that will clear things up and then come back. Okay, so, to set up MCP for making your own um, multiplayer mods, the only difference is you have to download the Minecraft server.jar, which I have in my downloads somewhere. Um, over... Here, I think that's the new one. Yeah, it probably is. So you're gonna have to get your Minecraft underscore server dot jar and copy it, or just move it or whatever you want, and paste it in the jars folder. Paste. If you remember, that's where we pasted like the resources and bin folder when we were doing single player mods. Now we just put it in there, and just like old times, you have to decompile minecraft so I'm going to type in bash if you don't know how to do this go watch the tutorial on how to set up MCP because I explained it in there so we're going to do decompile where's decompile ah! decompile oh oh yeah See, it's here it says the Minecraft.jar is already decompiled um, because we've already decompiled the, the single player.jar. And so now it's only, it's only unpacking the server.jar. Patching, repacking. For, for the, so for those of you who don't know, uh, the Minecraft Coder Pack basically just um, fixes all... It uh, decompiles Minecraft so you can... Um, get to access to all the source code and it also renames all the Java files so that they have names that make sense because if you try to unzip the minecraft server dot uh, minecraft dot jar um, you, you can actually do it you can uh, you can uh, what was I just saying you can unzip it um, but all the classes will have like two letter names and they won't make any sense unless you use the minecraft coder pack oh okay it's done I scrolled up by accident. Okay, so now we just bash. Oh, I decompiled already. Oh, okay, so after you decompiled, it should say it's uh, decompiling Minecraft server classes. And now, if you go into sources, you'll see that there is a Minecraft folder and there's a Minecraft underscore server folder. If you want to make a server mod, you have to go into the Minecraft server folder, into net, and then Minecraft. And then SRC, which stands for source, and these are all your server classes. Okay, so if you want to make a mod, you have to edit these classes instead. Um, I think most of them are the same, like the item.java class and the block.java. But uh, anyway, you have to edit these classes instead using Edit Rocket or whatever you want. And if you want to make single player mods, uh, as usual, you go into the regular Minecraft folder. And that's how you do it. The actual coding for the mods, like making your own recipes and stuff, is the same. But the difference is that uh, there's some sort of difference, I think. And yeah, it makes a server mod instead of a single player mod. And the server mod you can install on your server, obviously, instead. So then people who join your server don't have to get the mod. They can just join your server. And now I'm ranting, so I'm going to end the tutorial here. Thanks for watching, guys. As I always say, oh, I'm getting tired of saying this. Um, please subscribe if you like these tutorials, and I'll see you next time.